everybody thank you very much for joining me uh, I hope you liked the opener um, I thought I would do a lesson tonight on just dynamics and my vibrato I often get asked uh, specifically about my vibrato but I thought I'd just throw it out a bit wider and, and dynamics in general and where I pick and all that kind of stuff so we'll get into that in just a minute what else um, Oh yes, uh, we were all at my dad's today, my wife, my son, we went out for a scone and some coffee at my dad's. Uh, many of you might have seen his video, or my video, years ago, covering his collection. He's got a collection of some 20 guitars, more than 20 guitars, that he keeps in immaculate condition. I'm talking dusters in the cases, everything's wiped off every single time. Beautiful guitars. Um, in fact, I'll give you a wee quick 
montage right now, just for 20 seconds, literally, of just a tiny snapshot of what he's got. Let's go. And that last one was interesting, the, the Hofner. I think that was bought in something like 66 or 67 or something like that. So that's older than me, I was born in 69. So I've grown up with that Hofner on the wall of our parents' house. Um, I, I spent some time learning guitar and on an electric and then I'd come down and just rehearse it all on the Hofner. And so the amount of hours I must have poured in on that little guitar, and I was playing it today actually, I picked it up off the wall, it still plays great and all the wear is genuine wear, unlike the wear on a lot of my guitars that are being relicked. It was great to play a Hofner Senator, I think it's called. Other questions I get relate to this junior, I got a question today and I've had a couple in the, in, in the recent um, weeks and months asking me how I like it and um, how do I find having a guitar with only one pickup? Um, and so just before we do today's musical bit, the breakdown bit, I just thought I would answer the question on this video. Yes, I do love this guitar. I think there is something sp very specific about the tone of a junior. The lack of routing in the, in the neck here and the lack of sort of dilution with any kind of tailpiece in the ABR1, just nut, stop tailpiece, no routing here, and it just yields a very direct, loud bark of a sound. Kind of impolite, it doesn't, and a very powerful pickup as well. And so it has a particular thing. Is it my favorite guitar? Is it a guitar I play the most? Definitely not. It's a great thing to have in my collection. It's a bit like the little two-seater convertible car that I always go on about. The kind of car that would be in your garage um, and you maybe wouldn't take it out all the time, but you take it out on high days and holidays. That's what this guitar is for me, the junior. Uh, I spend most of my time on my Telecaster, let's face it. I'm a Gibson Les Paul. Right, let's look at some dynamics. Let's go. First then, let's talk about the right hand moving along the length of the string. I've owned Les Pauls. I've got two currently, the sort of PEF style Les Pauls. I've got junior and gold tops but the PEF style Les Pauls none of my neck pickups to me are woolly and um, the guitar I had in the year 2000 about a 2000 a year 2000 Gibson Les Paul standard that was great sounding as well I, th I think it's because being in a band sometimes you have to change your EQ in the middle of the solo because you're not getting heard and it became a default thing to do was to move and pick near the bridge or if, if I needed a warm-up I'd pick near the neck so just watch this right Here's what I normally pick with my right hand. And watch it go all mellow. Let's get into that change straight away. sounding guitar change what you pick next one vibrato a low vibrato is often called the signature of the player I'm not trying to suggest that people should just change their signature but I think there's also vibrato that is just plain bad and it's often the hallmark of the novice player when you start learning we all start with parts of our playing that are just bad and I give a lot of guitar lessons or have done in the past and I still give the occasional face-to-face -face lesson and yeah the hallmark of the new player or the novice player is this vibrato that I'm going to say people default to fast and furious the sort of Stevie Ray type now obviously when you can play like Stevie Ray he plays it and means it but it is, seems to be the human default 
is to go for this fast itself. <laughs> done really well it's a thing for sure but I think it's because having watched so many novice players that is the default it's like teaching people to drive I teach people to drive for a living that's how I earn my keep and human beings all seem to display like if you send a human being around a left hand bend in a car they all seem to want to naturally clip the apex like Lewis Hamilton a racing driver would. Everybody does it. And I've got to say, stop it. You'll ruin my car. You'll ruin my... You'll bang my wheels on the curb. And having watched learners for so many years, they all seem to fall into natural things. And with vibrato, the default in, human, in humans seems to be fast and furious. But it's done badly and slightly pulled the note sharp. Yeah, there's another thing. They pull the note sharp. So... I'm not saying people should change the vibrato, but do look at your vibrato and is it is it signing the wrong name? Is it saying, I'm a novice? And I think it's because it takes some confidence to do either no vibrato or slow vibrato. No vibrato is just, you feel completely exposed and naked. And it takes confidence and some front to just go. And just enjoy. And then equally, Brave is vibrato maybe starts with no vibrato and then moves into slow vibrato. That's that takes a lot of front to do slow vibrato. And technique. I would practice that. I totally suggest practicing Whitney Houston type vibrato. In other words, I will always love you. This, this <laughs> willingness to do no vibrato at all. And then bring in vibrato. It takes confidence and skill, but it's definitely worth developing it. Little personal signatures. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I certainly... I know Knopfler is famous for... Doing that whole chord vibrato. I love doing that. I was doing it a little bit. In that thing. I'm trying what I can. Sometimes I just physically can't. The chord is too complex. I'm holding down. So maybe I'll just do one finger. Very good. slow what I'm doing none of it is it's, it, I mean that's awful that's poor poor taste to do that there that first finger of mine I could do two of them I suppose Practice slowing it down, and then from there, maybe work into your own signature. That's my tip. That sounds really arrogant to say your vibrato's wrong, it's too fast, it's shit. But I, I just, when you hear the players that you look up to on the YouTube, they often have a great, classy sounding vibrato that may be deliberately furious, like Stevie Ray. But even that's, I'm not pulling it out of pitch and keeping it out of pitch. I'm being very conscious as to keep it musical like. Pop. 
Paul Kossoff. There's an example. Paul Kossoff has almost the exact same type of vibrato that I say, don't do it. But because he's brilliant, he does it um, like that. So, but the context he's doing it in, and he's doing it so skillfully and masterfully, Bonamassa is the same. The, I don't know what I'm saying. Just where you'll unsubscribe and, and go away. <laughs> Point is, it, there's so much in vibrato. It's a wonderful thing. If you if you like my vibrato, watch what I'm doing with my first finger. Often within the chord, I'm finding ways just to move that one finger. My vibrato is kind of trying not to pull it out of pitch and keep it out of pitch. Vibrato is, by definition, you have to pull it out of pitch, but you bring it back to pitch to keep the human ear on side so you don't go into novice territory again. So it's hard. I don't know when I got mine. I think I got mine fairly early. In fact, my touch came fairly early in my learning. I'm very lucky for that. I couldn't play very well, but everybody said, I'm touching it nice, you know? What next? Oh yeah, just the sheer, how you can turn your guitar more distorted by playing gently and hard, obviously. So my guitar tone right now, my amp is actually clean going on to dirty. If I dig in, of course. to get these lovely amazing opportunities there. I'm not the best at that, but Rory Gallagher, incredible at that. What else in dynamics? That probably wraps up for my quick chat on dynamics. Hope you got something out of that. Um, but yeah, vibrato, work work on a bit of vibrato, change the way you do vibrato and it might open up a whole new thing and try to try some, try to try, try some slow vibrato. I promise you, it'll yield great things.